Hi guys and welcome to today's video. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Madeline and I'm so happy that you're here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. Today, I'm going to be taking you through my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, this is typically what I do to my face. So I am just going to be taking you through that process and I hope you enjoy. Let's jump on into it. To start off and prime my face, I'm going to be using the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I got this in my fall FabFitFun and I absolutely love it. So I just put about this much and just put that all over my skin. For an everyday foundation, I've been using the Maybelline Superstay. I'm in the shade 220. I have been looking for a good matte drugstore foundation that works for my skin. I have super oily skin. It's like annoyingly oily. It's so bad. And I usually use the Fenty Soft Matte foundation, but that is expensive upkeep, especially for everyday use. So I wanted a really good drugstore one, and that is when I found the Maybelline one. I actually saw this on TikTok and decided to try it. I think it was like $10 at Target. It's so, so affordable and works really well for me personally. The color match is not perfect right now because I have a spray tan on. It's mostly washed off, but also um, I don't match my foundation to my face. I match it to the rest of me. And the way this foundation dries, it matches the rest of my skin. So trust the process. I know it looks a little crazy right now. Once I'm done, it'll look fine though. I also forgot to mention this is one of the Real Techniques makeup sponges. I just get them in like the big packs at Walmart. They're super affordable and do a super good job. So after my foundation is all blended in, I'm going to be using the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. I am in the shade CN40. I started using this concealer recently because I was using the Tarte Shape Tape before. I'm going to put a mirror here actually. I've been using the shape tape for years and I just I'm not the biggest shape tape concealer fan um it's just too thick for me and just doesn't blend as well I'm not sure if it's the products I use with it my skin type whatever I'm just not the biggest shape tape fan and I've started using the Clinique concealer and I really like it so far I just put it on my chin and um like this part of my jaw where I break out a lot and then on my nose, forehead, and then under my eyes to conceal those dark circles because I already have dark circles and eye bags and I'm 21 years old. While my foundation and concealer dries a little bit more, I like to do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Professional Eyelash and Brow Wand and just brush my eyebrows down. And then I'm gonna be using a Morphe M165 brush. It's just a little angled brush. And my Billion Dollar Beauty eyebrow powder. It's just in the shade Blonde. I used to be a pomade girl, but I just don't make my brows as precise anymore. I just kind of fill them in how they're already shaped. And that just really works for me. I was never very good at eyebrows. And now like the natural, not so perfect eyebrows are in style now. So I feel like I could just do my brows however now and they don't have to look good. That's just kind of my natural brow. I know my brows are pretty dark, but I also bleach my hair. So that is why I have dark eyebrows. People always comment on that. Not on here, but like um, in general, people always comment on how dark my eyebrows are compared to my hair. I color my hair. Like obviously I'm not gonna bleach my eyebrows. I'm not very good at eyebrows. I feel like I have to say that a million times. So now I'm going to be taking the Airspun Loose Face Powder and putting that pretty much all over. Like I said earlier, I have super oily skin, so I have to do a lot to really matte my foundation down. Um, I actually do not like this powder. I've said that on like an Instagram Get Ready With Me. I think on TikTok as well I talked about this. I don't like this powder at all. I'm actually... Looking for a new one to try, so if you have a good powder suggestion, um, hopefully not anything too expensive, 
I would love to hear it. Also for the powder, I use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. I'm also gonna take the same Wet Beauty blender I already used and I'm gonna press some powder under my eyes just cause that is where I get a lot of my creases and wrinkles. And I just want my concealer and foundation to lay nice. For daily eyeshadow, I like to keep it fairly simple and natural. Today we're gonna be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't have like a designated like everyday eyeshadow look, but this is one that I use Pretty frequently, I would say. We are gonna start with a JH33 brush. I'm actually gonna clean it off real quick because it's got dark eyeshadow on it. I do not have the paper with all of the eyeshadow names on it anymore, um, but we are gonna start with this color right here, the second one on the second row if you have the Jaclyn Hill palette. I am just pretty much gonna put that all in my crease and Blend it up decently high. Do the same to the other eye. We are going to take just a little bit darker. We're going to use this shade right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer half of my eyelid and just blend it in with the first color that we used. Those are the two colors I'm going to use. And then for glitters, I love to use this MAC Queen Supreme palette. I don't even know if MAC makes this anymore. I got this at TJ Maxx, but it has such good glitter shades. And I think I am going to use this one right here. I'm not sure if this has the names on it. It does not. So I don't know what that name is either, but we are going to use the JH41. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm not even going to spray it or anything just because I don't want the glitter to be like super in your face. Like I just want a little bit of shimmer on the lid. Without even adding any more color to the brush, I'm just going to kind of go over it real quick to blend it in the middle. And then we are going to be using the JH39 brush and going back into that first color we used and popping that on under my eye. And then we are gonna be using the JH42 brush and just using the highlighter out of the Queen Supreme palette and putting that in my inner corners and then up on my brow bone. I think I saw like on TikTok or something that like no one does this anymore. No, this is like 2016 makeup or something like that. I love the way inner corner and brow bone highlight looks. I just feel like it opens your eyes so much. If you still do that, let me know so I don't feel alone. This is it for the eyeshadow. I am gonna do just a super thin line of eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner, just in black. All right, well, I accidentally took it way thicker than I wanted to, but. It's fine. I'm going to curl my lashes with this Babe Lash Rose Gold Eyelash Curler. I also got this in a FabFitFun. And for mascara, I'm going to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Little Travel Size. I just used that on the upper and lower lash line, by the way. I didn't really say that but I do use it on my lower lashes as well. I'm gonna take the big Jaclyn Hill powder brush and finally brush that powder from underneath my eyes and we are gonna finish up the face. For bronzer we're gonna be using my holy grail the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. I have the mini one because it just works for me like it's a decent size still and has a good amount of product and I'm using a Farrah contour 218M brush and just putting that everywhere where you would normally contour or bronze, whatever you do. I don't contour, I just use bronzer and I love this stuff. Macy got the caramel one and she really likes it. My camera battery is about to die. So we are gonna kind of <laughs> rush the last bit. We are almost done. I'm gonna use this JH04 brush and my Million Dollar Beauty blush that there. I put a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my forehead. Um, I actually haven't been using highlighter lately. I don't really like it anymore, so I'm not going to put any on. For setting spray, we're going to use the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. 
And then we are gonna finish off with some chapstick. This is just the Vanilla Bean Brace Bees. I don't wear lipstick on a daily use, obviously, but I like to keep a gloss on. This is just a Victoria's Secret lip gloss. These lip glosses are so good for absolutely no reason. They are one of my favorites. And there you have my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me.